So I want to share some ideas with you and these are my model megaliths. Often these things have nubs on the lower edge um, but this is just to make a point and this is my attempt at trying to create the surface texture that you see on these stones. Now I've had to simplify things somewhat to describe what I mean. So first I'd like to show you this. This is an industrial diamond. It's for uh, truing uh, abrasive stones in uh, grinding machines and it's uh, set in to a steel rod but the kind of glue that's holding it in you maybe can see there's a little bit of br brassy colored material and it's a copper alloy so it points to the idea that a diamond can be set into copper now I also have another tool that I used to produce this effect. Again, a modern uh, rawhide copper mallet. This is an old one and it shows nicely that the deformed copper and its uh, malleable nature. So I don't have uh, industrial diamonds on this but uh, it's just some cork but it's sufficient. So my idea is that if a tool like this with uh, diamonds set in copper, if you hit a stone, a hard stone, it would leave an impression and that's all well and good but you wouldn't uh, notice anything particular until you moved it along and used it again and maybe again in succession and now I think this you can see there are repetitions in the pattern and I think this is what I can see in the surface texture on these stones so now if we go back to a slightly more complex one You can see there are repetitions in the pattern, in the texture. And I certainly see lots of rows of apparently similar uh, tools that have been moved along and used it repeat again and again. Sometimes it's only uh, little pairs and little patterns here and there and it's not easy to see you really have to study these these blocks but sometimes there's little remnants around the edges and my example is a round tool but it may not necessarily be round it could have been the edge of a chisel something like a cross peen hammer um, but anywhere where you see similar shaped repetitions or even sometimes the little negative spaces that are left points to a tool that was used and then moved along and used again. So I would like anyone who's got uh, good high def photographs of these stones to take a good close look and watch out for repetitions because I think this is a big clue to how these stones were shaped and I think we have to conclude that it was probably a diamond this uh, diamond's been used many many times to uh, true and balance grinding wheels 
They're made of uh, aluminium oxide and silicon carbide, really hard materials, and it has no trouble shaping them, and it's hardly made an impression on it, even after many, many years. And uh, the brazing technique is a copper alloy, so I think uh, it's not unreasonable to think that they could have put hard stones into the melts when they made their copper tools. So look out for the repetitions and uh, let me know what you think. Sometimes it's just things like this next to each other. Similarities. Sometimes little shapes like this. But the same tool made the same mark. Anyway, interested to know your thoughts.